Hey, what's up, guys? Kyle here, making another tutorial. Uh, I really don't know what this is called, this tutorial, because this is kind of one of the black hat tutorials, and I'm kind of scared to even upload this because if you can easily abuse this, because uh, today I'm going to show you how to recover passwords from any computer. Now, I must warn you before you do this. If you use this on anyone else's computer, uh, it is illegal without their permission. You know, you have to have their permission to do it. So, uh, just go straight into it. This was a keylogger made by Classical. It was hacked. Uh, he's from Hack Bones. He got hacked, like, back in 2010, but he released his beta to everyone who decided worthy enough. And, uh, I was one of them. I was also... A customer of this epic uh, logger, the bypass, which doesn't work anymore, which I'm really sad about. And uh, he's a really good coder, and uh, everything. I'm really proud to own his tools. But uh, you know, you gotta move on. This, this isn't FUD anymore because uh, he disappeared after his. After one account was hacked, screwed over, so I'm just opening it up right now. Yeah, that's, that's a little ad right there, but uh, since this is not fully undetectable. If you use it on your own computer, it doesn't need to be fun. But uh, I'm really scared to even say that because at the same time, why would it need to be fun if you use it on your own computer? But uh, you don't want to install it. Uh, you do want to install it as a matter of fact. And uh, add to start up so every time a computer, your computer starts up, I'm just saying your computer starts up. Uh, you know. Uh, it will run and send the logs. But uh, you you enter your email here. These are the uh, uh, these are the emails that work with it. Google the email that's on. You know, uh, I, don't know, uh, uh, I really wish you had that. But uh, this is what this does. You can log the clipboard, so anything that copy will be sent to the log. You can send screenshots to kind of see what they're doing since this is not like a remote administrator. But um, you can change the output to an ex executable, a PIF, SCR, or a command prompt. Um, like I said, if you're using this on your own computer, you don't need to be high. Really uh, you can change the icon and make it look like something more, you know, something more realistic. Where and uh, it has its own vaccine, so just in case you run this on your own computer, what you do is you go back to your installation path, find where it dropped, and just paste that there, and it cured me, and it would be it, or whatever. Uh, go ahead and compile it. I didn't enter any email options or whatever, so this won't work. And it also has a test SMTP. So just in case you think something might have went wrong, or, you, know, you enter email information wrong or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. It's it kind of sad to see this program go or whatever. Uh, because I was really excited because he kind of dropped the bypass for this one. So uh, I'm going to have this program in the description for you. Remember, use it on your own discretion don't use on other people's computers without their permission or it is counted as illegal and they can't take you to court they can get the authorities involved so thanks for watching all